School.com is an online website where creators can host communities and include courses within those communities. A very important aspect of this is that these creators pay $99 per month for each community. And very often these communities are also paid for you as a member to join them. There are some free ones that you can join to meet like-minded people, but a lot of them are paid. That means that the creators of these communities actually have a serious business and the members that join these communities are very committed as well and willing to invest money into whatever community they want to be a part of. So I've made a tool that lets you scrape all of these details. This can be excellent uh, to find new leads for your business, um, to find new people uh, that you want to sell to, uh, or just to monitor statistics about school groups. It's overall a great market analysis tool. So as you can see, I'm currently on the discover page of school and you can scroll here uh, and you can see there's quite a, some communities. There are, there are over 10,000 communities in different uh, categories. Now you can search something here. For example, let's, let me search YouTube money making. I press enter. And as you can see, I get a list with 77 results for YouTube money making, if that's something that you're interested in. Now I want to scrape all of the details uh, from these communities. And then I can export this as a CSV file into Excel, or I could also have the output as a JSON file and then use, this, use it with other automation platforms such as Zapier or Make or whatever other stuff you're using. For example, Bubble might work as well. So what we now do is we go to my scraper, which is called School Scraper. You can find it on Appify. I'll put a link down below in the description. When you sign up with Appify, you get $5 of free credits every month that you can use to play around with. Um, now with this School Scraper, as you can see, I've built this. And so all you have to do is input a URL of a search term or of a group and it will automatically fetch details about that group or the members of that group. Now, the thing is, this scraper costs $19 a month to use. And then you also need to pay a small fee to Appify for the compute and the computers that you're using at Appify because this runs into the cloud. Now, I built this very efficiently, so that cost will be very, very low. I'll show you in a minute. So once you click here on try free, oh, and by the way, you can also try this for free for two hours just to see if whatever you're getting is actually what you're looking for. So once you click on try for free, you will be brought to the school scraper page like this, and you have to provide some inputs. Now you could do this manually here through this input or also automatically if you use something like Zapier uh, or Bubble or Make. And so one thing that is required are some start URLs. So I'll paste the search URL I had earlier about YouTube money making here. And that's really all that's necessary. So then you can also select uh, the max request per crawl. That's just as a safety precaution that you don't scrape too much information, but actually normally we don't really need this. Uh, some cookies, this is useful when you need to scrape members data, which I will show in a moment. And then here you can specify what information you want to scrape either group information or members information. Right now I'll show you group information. So then I click on save and start. And this will now start up the scraper in the cloud. And so if we scroll down a bit here, you can click on log and then you will be seeing what's actually going on. And so you can see it's discovering groups and then queuing them and also fetching the data from those groups. So this is very useful to see what's actually going on so that you can have a look. If things go wrong, you can have a look there. You can already see under 75 of 77 uh, requests handled. So far, there's 85 results. You can see it's currently taking 29 seconds to run this. Okay, it's finished. We got 77 results and the usage cost, as you can see, was less than two cents uh, for 77 groups. So uh, that's definitely not a lot. And so then you can see the results down below here, as you can see the group ID, group slug, group name, group description, group info, number of courses, number of modules. Now you can click here on export 77 results, and then you can simply download this as an Excel file or any other data format that you're looking for. As you can see, you can also automate your workflow and integrate the results. That's what you do if you use Zapier or Make. Another way to look at the data is through the structured uh, data format, JSON. So if you click on here, uh, you can see uh, 
what is being collected. So we have the ID, the name of the group, the description, some info. So this is all very useful information if you want to uh, search for specific groups. And you can see the number of courses, the modules, and the number of admins in the group, how many members the group have, how many are currently online, how many total posts were posted um, in the group, uh, the currency that's being used for the group, uh, the support email. Here you can see the survey questions that were asked when people sign up. Here you can see the attachments. So this is like the slide presentation uh, when you first visit um, a group. Uh, you can see who created uh, the group. So in this case, this, this case, AI guy, you can see his social handle. So his Instagram, I will link to his website, his YouTube, where this person is located. So in Boston, um, right. So then you can also see uh, some more information here about the creator. So Igor Rosloff is his name. Um, so a lot of information here. One thing that is also very useful is that very often uh, communities on school uh, provide a support email, right? And this is how you can get in touch with the creator of these cool communities. So you can see in this case, this is Nick at leftclick.ai. It's not always provided. I would say in around 50% of the cases, this is provided. You can also see when the group was created. So this is some very useful information whenever you're uh, scraping leads. So that's what you do when you want to get the information from groups. Now, like I mentioned, you can also get information about members from groups. Once again, you could use a URL like this, where you will be scraping all of the groups um, for a specific search query. Now, if you want to get information on members, this only works for public groups or for private groups of which you are a part of, right? So if you just do a regular search here like this, um, you will probably not get back that many results because most of the groups you're probably not a part of. Now, what you can do instead is you can go to school.com and then you simply pick any of the groups that you are a part of. For example, one I have here is data value creation. I'll click on this one. I'm just using this as an example because it doesn't have that much members, right? Because I don't want to wait too long for the results. I simply copy the URL. I go back to my school scraper and I replace the URL here. Now do know that you can add multiple URLs as well to all create them in one go. Uh, this will be more efficient than starting a new run every time. Now it's very important if you want to scrape members from a private group that you are a part of, then you need to provide some cookie information here so that you can be authenticated and that you can back those results because they are not public. They are only available, these results, to the members of these groups. And so how you can do this is you can go to this copy cookies uh, Chrome or Edge extension and then you install it. As you can see, I already have it. Once you've installed it, it will be underneath your, your extensions here and just make sure it's visible, right? So I made it visible. Um, I'll put a link down in the description so we can have a look where to install this extension from. And so now we can go back to the school page here. And as you can see, we have this cookie icon here. You just click on it and you can see it says copied, right? It has copied the cookies uh, that were active for this website. You go back to the scraper and you simply paste them in here like that. Now, all that you have to do is click on save and start. There we go. So scraper, the scraper has started. We can go to the log once again to see what's going on. And as you can see, it has found some members and it got all of the information. So it's already done. We go back to the output, right? Um, and now we go to all fields here and you can see we have the bio, create that email. Uh, we'll go to the JSON output so that's a bit more clear. You can see here, right, for which group was this created. Then we get the ID of the person. Um, then we get more information about these people. As you can see, their name, uh, first, last name, created their bio. And if they have provided any social handles, it will be available here, the location as well, and then their picture, right? So this is just a great way to get information on school groups. Um, and so I highly recommend this. Um, I'm still planning to uh, increase the functionality of this scraper. So for example, scraping uh, posts of the communities that you are a part of. And if you have any other ideas of what kind of data scraping for school might be useful, definitely let me know and I'll see if I can integrate this. Um, you can always reach out. I'll do my best to respond as quickly as possible. Uh, I am willing to provide a great user experience for people using this scraper. If you have any other ideas or scraping needs, don't hesitate to reach out. Take care and have fun scraping.